Good evening, good evening. Hello, people. Good evening. Gerardo, you are always on time. I'm really happy to see you here. And also Oscar, Mayra, eh, Gilberto, and Henry. You know, let us wait a little bit, okay, so that we can start with the activities tonight. Uh, Gerardo, you, you are studying a lot, right? I can see that you are very concentrated tonight. Are you ready with the activities? Este, por el trabajo casi no he podido hacer eso, prof. Continue now, continue, Gerardo, because you're going gi to be given the time to, to perform it. Okay. <clears throat> Good evening, Maricela. Good evening. Esperamos que todo esté bien, Maricela. Good evening. Mayra, good evening. Ronan. <clears throat> we're almost we're almost on time, right? So two minutes and we're gonna start. So be ready with everything you consider is important in the class. Maybe you you, you open um a website, okay, with a with a Google Translate or with a dictionary. Or maybe you 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 need to have a notebook, a pen, or a pencil, eraser. Everything you consider is important to have in the class. Well, just take it, take it. All right. Uh, I can see that a lot of people are just getting connected, and that's quite good. I can see Maria over here. I'm here, teacher. Welcome, Maria. Welcome. Gracias. Okay, I have, let's see how many people I have, 11 people, we are 11 people in the class, okay. So, well, I hope that, that you are more than ready to start with a new class. I share some information in the in the group, okay, that can help you to, to get extra information about person simple and information question, all right. All right, Maricela. It's okay. I got your message, okay? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Marilyn. Hope you are having a great time. Wow, Sarling got into the class, okay? So do the favor to activate the camera. Remember, it's too important. I will, I will ask you to do it. I mean, every single time you, you get into the class, Okay, because you know it's important, right? You, you, we're in a basic English, and then you're gonna move to intermediate, then to advanced. And you you need to get accustomed to interact with with your teacher, with you, with, with your classmates, and with your teacher. Okay, so it's important. The teacher needs to see you. The teacher needs to to interact in a different way. Not only see the names in the in the camera so that's better mary that's better okay gerardo very good sarling allison um uh, oscar mayra hello he teacher hello good evening good evening. Camera people. people who don't have problems with camera do me the favor to activate it hello raquel welcome now, yes, I will check the list of attendance, people, help me with it. Okay, so remember, that's the first step I I am asked to do. And I hope today we can, we can have a great time together as we usually have it, okay? So I know that we have different activities. I know that you have a homework assignment and well, a lot of things, right, to do. 
Uh, what day is today, people? What day is today? Thursday. Thursday, okay. Today is Thursday, um, May the 18th, right? 2023. Okay, very good. Hey, uh, Adam, are you there, Adam? Alison is there. Raquel, Camelia. Camelia, are you there? Tina Maribel, Gerardo. Gerardo. Yes, Okay, Gerardo is over here. Gilberto. Present. Okay, Gladys Rubidia. Gladys not here. Hector Salvador. Henry Ernesto. Henry, I think I saw Henry here. Henry, are you over here now? Yeah, Henry's over here. Henry Meyer, okay. You say hello, please, because I'm checking the list of attendance, and that's important for everybody, okay? Sarlim? Hello. Hello, Sarlim. Jonathan Josue? Present teacher. Okay. Mayra Norabel? <clears throat> Present. Good. Maria Elba. Thank you, sir. I know Maricela is there. Miguel Angel. Norma, Norma Xiomara. Hi, teacher. Hi. Oscar Josué. Present teacher. Ronald. Present teacher. Salvador Santiago. Veralis, I know I saw Veralis there. Vid Present teacher. Yeah, okay, very good. Vidal. And Claudia, Claudia Veronica. Present teacher. Vidal, you there? Good. Claudia Veronica is yes. not in the class yet, right? Okay. Give me one second. <clears throat> okay. Now we're gonna start as soon as possible. Okay, as we usually do it, we're gonna go over the activities in the platform. Okay, yesterday's homework. Then we're going to sub or to say some vocabulary. Let me see, I have Gladys, Henry, and Allison. Let's see. Gladys, Henry, and Allison. Okay, Gladys. Henry. And Allison, all right. So uh, I was just telling you about the sequence we're gonna follow tonight. Okay, we're gonna go over the active, the, the homework in the platform so that we can check what you have done. And later, um, I have some vocabulary, okay, to study or to try to learn tonight. And uh, I have a presentation, a PowerPoint presentation in where we're gonna have some review and we're gonna go deeply with some certain uh, exercises and some extra information, I mean, Explanation. Yesterday we had the opportunity to study about every single word. Okay, tonight we're supposed to uh, go over the double H question words uh, deeply. Uh, Aidan says, All right, Aidan. Good evening. Good to see you, Aidan. That was that was great. When I when I didn't see you in the class, Aidan, I I I got a little bit uh, surprised because you come very early into the class. Now, I hope everybody's all right. I hope everybody's okay. And I hope that you are willing to go over this adventure that's called Basic English uh, Curse. 
you know, this is the third week, third week, right? Week number three, and we need to go, um, I mean, tomorrow you have a, a very important activity where you're gonna uh, tell us a, about a story, okay? I hope that you already started with the investigation or pronunciation, vocabulary, sequence of this story, et cetera, right? And tonight, well, you are gonna show uh, a reading, right? You're gonna share a reading where you have just got in vocabulary that you have, where you have created some double H question words, okay? And <clears throat> well, it, the, tonight will be very interesting. I hope that we can, um, can enjoy it a lot. Okay, so let us start. Let us start as quickly as possible. Okay, just give me one second, all right. Okay, and as I usually ask you, it's quite important for you to participate, okay? Um, well, uh, this is, this is what, well, yesterday, yes, this was the class we had just, right? So I think you remember what happened yesterday. If you do not remember, or if you wish, or if you want to to have some review about what happened yesterday, you can go and uh, and check it, right? And check the information right here. Okay, I remember we studied some info about uh, present simple. First, okay, I don't know, but there was previously. Prácticamente terminamos con el básico. Wow. Let's start quickly by, we studied some vocabulary, right? right? What about a, raw material? Such as production, research, development, purchasing, marketing, human resources, et cetera, right? But I also remember we, I presented info about double H question words, right? Okay. So this is what happened yesterday. Okay, so this is the, I wonder if you remember about this presentation. Tonight, we're um, gonna go over something that's similar, but not exactly the same. So we're gonna go, okay, now think deeply about it because I will ask you later. Okay, Hector says, good evening. All right, Hector. Oh, I'm sorry to know about it, Hector. Hope you get better soon. Okay, so this is what happened yesterday, people. and. Today, we have the opportunity to recheck and to see how much um, how much learning we, we got from yesterday's session, right? So I have one question over here, okay? And uh, I have, do I get a newspaper? So what is the, the double H question word that's missing here? Where? Okay, the, the, the expression is where. Can you read the scene, the question, please? Where do I get a newspaper? Where do I get a newspaper? And somebody else answer at a shop. You can get it at the shop. Good. Next one, number two. Does the game start? Does the game start? When does the game start? Good. When does the game start? When that do, when does the game start? It starts on Sunday. On Sunday. All right. Number three. Yeah. Do you live here, Grace? Yeah. Where? Where do you live here? Where? No, but look at the answer. Yeah. If it were yeah. where then it may, it, the answer may be in Santa Ana or in yeah. San Salvador or Who? some other place. Oh, right. So we're Who talking about a person, right? So the the uh, the answer is who? Who do you live? Who do you live here with? I live here with my brother. Okay, I live here with my brother. Number four. What? The question is like. 
Do you in your free time? What? What do you do? What do you do in your free time? I play the guitar. And the number five, does she go to school? Who? Does she go? Is it how, which, or when? How? Uh, how? Oh. How does she go to school? She goes to school by bus. Good. She goes to school by bus. This is this is the activity in the platform. Okay, so I hope that you could finish. ¿Ya lo habían, ya lo habían hecho? ¿Ya lo habían terminado? Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. Very, very important. Recuérdense. Cada noche lo vemos porque sabemos de la importancia de las actividades en la plataforma. ¿Ok? Son, ahorita son bastante sencillas, pero eso no les quita la importancia de las mismas. ¿Ok? Uh, ya la otra semana tienen su final test. Tenemos la última semana de inglés. Estamos a día jueves. Mañana tienen una, un challenge de tres minutos. Espero que lo que ya tengan, digamos, el cuento y que ya lo estén practicando, ¿verdad? Um, let me see. Uh, today, we're in church of talking about how to use the simple present information question, which, which, which are the same double H question uh, we started yesterday, or we started yesterday. Okay, so let's go over it. We have, well, I will start with, by, by sharing some vocabulary, vocabulary that I have got so that we can continue getting familiarized with the, with the vocabulary um, we have been studying lately that's related to our job. I will share the, the link, okay, because this link doesn't appear in the, in the book. This link doesn't appear in the book. So uh, I, I will share it with you now. So you can see what you don't, right? It's there. Now it's there in the chat. You can go and see um, the exercise directly. So what is on about? This is a word list. This is a word list. And uh, what am I gonna go very deeply? Because you know, it's as I told you a couple of days ago, it is quite important to learn a lot of vocabulary. How many words are we gonna practice tonight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Yesterday we started like like twenty new words, right? So today we're gonna go deeply with each of them. So we're gonna see the word right here, and we're gonna play. We're gonna play. Uh, the track so that we can see this is pronunciation the way it is pronounced. Okay. So it says that it can be uncountable now. It's an uncountable now. Then we have the definition and we have an example. So we're gonna do the following people. I will play it and automatically somebody uh, repeats, anybody. Then we're gonna read the definition. Okay, somebody is, somebody is going to help me to read the definition again. And then we're gonna play uh, the, exa the example. And somebody else is going to help me to read the example. ¿De qué se trata este ejercicio? Bueno, vamos a, a, a aprender vocabulario. Como ustedes visualizan acá, va a aparecer la palabra, va a aparecer el, el, símbolo, el simbolismo de cómo se pronuncia la palabra y lo vamos a escuchar automáticamente cuando le, cuando le dé play. Work. Work. Alguien del grupo lo repite, por favor. No importa quién, quién sea, si ya participó una vez, dos veces, pero es necesario que usted trate la manera de ir practicando. Si dice work, si dice work hay que, hay que work. pronunciarlo así, work. work. 
Después de eso vamos a escuchar la definición. The place where one is employed. Labor, employment, occupation, job. Entonces, cuando escuchemos eso, si ustedes se dan cuenta, es alguien, un, una, una persona norteamericana la que está hablando. Entonces, quiere decir que vamos a tratar de imitar. Así como ella lo lee, nosotros vamos a ir tratando de imitar. ¿Ok? A tratar de sonar lo más parecido posible a como ella o él lo digan. Creo que solo es, es la voz de una dama. ¿Ok? Y después el, bueno, cuando The place yo... where one is employed. Labor, employment, occupation, job. Cuando alguien más eh, repita la definición, entonces nos vamos a ir con el ejemplo. Y alguien más nos va a ayudar. My repitiendo. work involves a lot of travel. Fíjense bien en la tercera persona, cómo ella lo pronuncia. My work involves a lot of travel. ¿Pronuncia la S? Si la pronuncia, la pueden notar. My work involves a lot of travel. ¿Sí o no? Se oye, pero poco. Ah, pero sí. Ok, very good. My work involves a lot of travel. Ok, lo que dice es cierto, se oye poco. Pero sí se, se, se escucha. ¿Por qué en las clases como que nosotros hacemos más énfasis? Por eso lo notamos más. Pero ya cuando hablamos de manera natural. My work involves a lot of travel. Ese sonido va a estar ahí, pero no va a ser tan pronunciado como ahorita que estamos teniendo las clases. ¿Ok? So. Involves a lot. Sorry. Involves a lot. Involves a lot. Involves a lot. Involves a lot. Ok, so we're going to try. Vamos a tratar. Va alguien, recuerda, cualquiera que desee participar, bienvenido. Vamos a tratar de optimizar tiempo porque tenemos 16 palabras acá, ¿verdad? Yo voy a, voy a tratar de dedicarle unos, ¿qué? Unos, unos 15 minutos a esta actividad y de ahí nos vamos a mover a otra. Ok, porque quiero pronunciación, que se acostumbren sus oídos a los sonidos. Y que al mismo tiempo aprendamos. Que okay, definiciones y ejemplos. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are you... yes. All right. So, quickly. Al nomás yo escucho que alguien lo repita, voy a moverme a la otra parte. Work. 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 The place where one is employed. Labor, employment, occupation, job. The place where one is the place where one is employed labor employment occupation job my work involves a lot of travel my work involves a lot of travel fantastic me encantó así tiene que así tenemos que ir work work, work. To do a specific task by employing physical or mental powers. To do a, a specific task by employing physical or mental powers. He's working in a bar. He is working in a bar. At work. At work. He hasn't come home yet. He's probably still at work. He hasn't come home yet. He's probably still at work. Workplace. Workplace. The place where someone works or is employed. My workplace is close to the train station. 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 Job. Job. An economic yeah. role for which a person is paid. An economic role for which a person is paid. That surgeon has a great job. That's okay. Job. Job center. Job, job center. 
an official place that you can go to to find employment. I have an appointment at the job center tomorrow. I have an appointment at the job center tomorrow. Job seeker. Job seeker. A person who is unemployed and is looking for a job. There were many job seekers at the job center yesterday. There were many job seekers at the job center yesterday. Job offer. Job offer. An opportunity for somebody to work. A vacant job somewhere. An opportunity for somebody to work. A vacant job somewhere. An opportunity for somebody to work. A vacant job somewhere. He got a job offer yesterday, but he rejected it. He got a job offer yesterday, but he rejected it. He got a job offer yesterday, but he rejected it. Look for a job. Look for a job. She's been looking for a job for three months now. She's been looking for a job for three months now. Find. Find. To encounter, to discover something. Encounter, to discover something. To encounter, to discover something. After two months of unemployment, <clears throat> he finally found a new job. After two months of unemployment, he finally found a new job. Difficult. Difficult. Hard, not easy, requiring much effort. Hard, not easy, requiring much effort. It was difficult to get a job offer. It was difficult to get a job offer. A job offer. Labor. Labor. Effort expended on a particular task. Workers in general, the workforce. Mm -hmm. Okay, five minutes more, people. Let's continue, please. Repeat, please. Effort expended on a particular task. Workers in general, the workforce. If we're expanded on a particular test, workers in general, the workforce. Vegetable picking is a manual labor. Vegetables picking is a manual labor. Labor market. Labor market. The whole system which functions through the interaction of workers and employers. All the jobs that are available. The whole system which functions through the interaction of workers and employers. All the jobs that are available. The whole system which functions through the interaction of workers and employers. All the jobs uh, that are available. There are currently not many job offers available on the labor market. There are currently not many job offers available on the labor market. There are currently not many job offers on the labor market. Okay, and I think it's been enough.
Now, something that you can do is like, uh, uh, digamos, si ustedes quisiesen practicar vocabulario en casa, pues pueden buscar una página con vocabulario y pronunciación y algo similar a lo que yo estoy presentando acá. Y pueden hacer lo siguiente. Labor market. Lo escuchan. Labor market. Lo pronuncian y lo graban quizás en su celular y de ahí lo comparan. Ok, pueden comparar lo que, lo que ustedes han grabado Labor market. con lo que aparece en la página. Y si son oraciones largas, pues pueden hacer lo mismo. The whole system which functions through the interaction of workers and employers. All the jobs that are available. Entonces, si acá, por ejemplo, the whole system which functions through. A lo mejor hay palabras que como no las conocemos, quizás cuando ella habla, lo dice como un poco muy rápido. The whole system which functions through the interaction, the whole system which functions through the interaction okay, of workers through, and employers. All the, the jobs that are available. Ok, ustedes lo dicen, lo graban en, en su celular y luego lo comparan. Si ustedes oyen que no están pronunciando bien una parte de la oración, van y lo vuelven a grabar hasta que les salga bien. Ok, eso es como, eso es como estar practicando con una guitarra, ¿verdad? Hasta que nos dé el sonido correcto, entonces nosotros sabemos que lo hemos aprendido de manera eh, como debe ser. Ok, por ahí compartí el enlace, por si ustedes toman a bien este, seguirlo practicando. Ok, y... Veamos, acá sí ya vamos directo con el, el, el review. Un poquito así, un poco rápido, lo vamos a trabajar rápido. Siempre que yo digo review, recuérdense que es algo que de alguna manera ya lo, ya lo hemos abordado, pero que sabemos que no es algo que nosotros damos por, por culminado, ¿verdad? Sino que más bien es de darle seguimiento. Ok, so tonight. Uh, we're gonna go over the uh, topic on how to use information questions and answer. Now, this information is in the PDF book. Where do you work? Well, I, be, well, I will be able to ask the information question and give out answers. This is what we started yesterday, okay? So, and then we have some, some more vocabulary. Vocabulary that's in the book and I know that you already know So that's why we are gonna go over it deeply, okay? Because I need to check. What is production, people? Who wants to help me to read the, 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 the I mean, the, the, the meaning of the word production? What is production, Alison? Control and supervise the production work phase and inventory. Good, what is research and development? Okay. Anybody else who wants to help me? Fíjense que, si se fijan, ya la pronunciación ya está mejorando, pero ¿cuál es la clave? Fíjense que los que más participan son los que más rápido van mejorando. Espero yo que aquellos que participan un poquito menos en la clase que se animen, ¿verdad? No es, no es obligación, pero sí es necesario. ¿Ok? So, what is research and development? Somebody? Develop decent, new, or pro improve excellence product or process. Okay, develop, design, develop design, new, or improve existing mm -hmm. products or processes. Good. What's purchasing people? Purchasing? Buying started to buy material. Production, equipment, 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 ¿cómo se dice equipment? Equipment. 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 Y, 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 ITC, no. <laughs> And for the use of the organization. Organization, very good. Acquire raw material, production equipment, etc. Now, what's raw material? ¿Quién se acuerda de este, de este vocabulario? Raw material. What's raw material? Eso lo vimos ayer. Materias primas. Okay, what is workforce? Um, 
trabajo de fuerza laboral o fuerza de trabajo. No ok, da. What's marketing people? What is marketing? What is the meaning of marketing? Research and identify what customers want in new and the right place. Okay, research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Very good, thank you. Number five, human resources management. What is it? Recruit, select, and design new experts for the right job in the company. Pretty good. What's the meaning of the word recruit? Recruit. Recruiter. All right. Employees. What employees? Oh, very good. That's right. What is the meaning of the expression accounting and finance people? What do people do there? Financial record of the transaction involving monetary inflow and the outflow. Uh, uh, flows. Keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. What are inflows and what are outflows? Inflows, outflows. What is the meaning? Um, entradas y salidas. Exactly, sí. okay. Very good, very good. You remember the vocabulary, I really <laughs> love that. Now, Work for you said it, right? You can see there. It's not necessary you 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 read, okay? Because we already know what the meaning of it is. Eventually, develop, design, improve, acquire, raw material, research, customers, recruit, train, inflows and outflows. Now, can somebody uh, help me to read this, please? Can you help me to read the word? Workforce. Okay, the next one. Mm. Uh, inventory. Inventory. Develop. Develop. Design. Design. Improve. Improve. I improve. Acquire. Acquire. Raw material. Raw material. Research. Research. Customer. Customers. We. Recreate, train, 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 flow, inflows, outflows, and outflows. Very good. Very good. Now, what are information questions, people? We started. We started yesterday, but here we have like a very, very uh, specified um, meaning or very specified information about. Information question. These type of questions are used to request information that has not been previously previously mentioned. And like just no question, double H information questions always contain supposition. They always will begin with a double H word, such as what, where, when, why, which, how, whose, whom, and who. Now, when do we use what, people? Okay. What? When it, 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 it's used okay. for. ¿Cuándo lo ocupamos? Ayer lo vimos. Uh, what? Um, 
particular? To ask about things. Excellent. To ask about things. Abstract or concrete? Okay, maybe abstract or concrete. When do we use who, people? To ask about people. When we want to ask about people. Very good. When do we use her? To ask about places. When the... we... Uh -huh. when we want to know about places, directions, etc. When do we use when, people? Talk about time. We want to talk about time, specific dates, etc. When do we use whose? When do we use whose? This, I think this is a, uh, when we want to talk about position, right? When do we use why? Okay. Um, to ask about reasons. Okay, to ask yeah. uh, for reasons, okay. And I told you, right, this is to ask questions, okay. but when we when we answer, what is the word that we that we use to provide an answer? Because. Because excellent. Then we have which. Which is used when we want when we have different choices. Okay. Now later, I think I will provide some other videos so that we you can see it clearer. Whom is to talk about people when they uh, serve as an object, and how can be about money, right? Yesterday we started about how many, how much, how many, how much, and what was the other one we learned yesterday? Adam told us, right? That was how long, right? Okay, so this is about information question. Now, we also have information question with B, not only with simple present. Okay, what is the pattern? Where are they from? You see, where are they from? What is your name? And we have it also with simple present. Yesterday, we started with it, right? So, Double H word, do or does, then we have the subject, then we have the verb, and we have a complement. Example, what does he do on vacation? When do you play football? Information questions with B. Double H question word plus the verb to be plus subject plus complement. Now, example, where are you from? When is your birthday, Paul? Singular nouns. This is very important, people, because you know we have information question, and this is this is important. When you say who is your teacher, you are asking only about one teacher. But if you say who are the students, you see it is in plural. The noun is in plural. It's, this is very important because it also helps us to recognize if we're using either. Um, the verb be in a singular form or in the third person or the verb be in the plural form. Okay, so who is your teacher? Who are the students? What is your last name? What is your last name? What are their, what are their names, plural? See, students, names, plurals. Where is your book? Only one, right? Book. Name, only one name. Teacher, only one teacher. Where are your pencils? Plural. Okay, the verb be are, etc. 
Now, how old is your brother? Only one brother. How old are your children? Children is plural, okay? How old are your children? La forma singular de children is child. Quiere decir niño. Child. Y el plural, children. Okay? Child, children. Now, any question about it? Any question about it? No questions? No questions. Okay, so let's go to the next point. Now in here, we are gonna try to do something similar to what we did yesterday, right? So I will read the answer, the question, then you will read the answer, okay? What's your name? I'm Antonio. Okay, I'm Antonio. Letter D. Now, where's he, where's he from? He's from Awachapan. He's from Awachapan. Letter A. Where's her mother? Where's her mother from? He's from Peru. Her mother. He from uh, Peru. I'm from Peru. That's letter E, right? Who who is Shakira? She is a famous singer. She is a famous singer. So let's see, right? And the last one. How old are your parents? My mother is eighty-one. 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 Okay, my brother is 45, my father is 48. Good. You see, that's quite simple, right? So yesterday we started with some exer exercises like this one. And now we're gonna continue, okay? Now we will continue with this. Complete the questions, use what, where, who, or how old, and the correct form of the verb to be. Show both form when possible, okay? So who is or who's your new classmate? Her name's Fatima. Now, number two, your teacher from? Your teacher from? Where is the, where is the question that's missing there? Where? Okay, oh. very good. You can say where is or worse, right? Okay, where's your teacher from? He friends in Salvador. Your friends' names. Number three. Who? Who? But what are we asking for? We're asking for names. What? Okay. What's what? Uh huh. What? what? Hello. What are? Uh, what are very good your friends' names? Alex and Oscar. And the last one we have your sisters. Sylvia is twenty and Carmen is eighteen. Uh huh. Oh, oh, are your sisters? Okay, very good. How old? How old oh. are? How old are your sisters? How old are your sisters? Sylvia is 20 and Carmen is 18. Okay? Okay, I hope that's quite good, people. Pretty nice. We're gonna continue. Okay. And what about number five?
What about number five? Do your neighbors, they're stealing from the suburb. Uh huh. Where? Where, where are they? Where? Uh huh. Where? Are. Are. Your new they. neighbors? Good. That's it, right? So where are your new neighbors? They're students from El Salvador. Number six, your colleague from? Where? Where? Are, where are? Are your colleagues from? You from yeah where are your colleague from well they're from costa rica what about number seven if, if, your, uh, your cat's name it, it? Uh, no, perdón, perdón. It, it needs uh, to be a question right it's uh, candy right Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. oh how if how is your cat name are you sure is how is your cat's if. name huh how is your cat's name now listen, if you if you if you use how to so what, how, is, how, what okay. is what is right? That's better, right? What is or what's mm -hmm. your cat's name? What's your cat's name? What's your cat's name? It's Candy. Your daughter, she's six. Your daughter, she's six. Okay, Gerardo, I saw, I saw, I saw Gerardo, the message, okay? I hope you can solve your technical problems, okay? So what is the, the, the answer, people? Uh, how? 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 Oh. All the. Uh huh. Is. Is. How old is your daughter? Uh, how old is your daughter? How old is your daughter? Well, she's six. She's, she's six years old. Okay. So, pretty good. Pretty full. Okay, great job. So, we're going to continue, okay? Okay. Now, this is information that's in the book. So we have some examples such as, what do I do? I supervise the production workforce. Where do you work? I work in an accounting department. When do you, I'm oh, sorry. When do you, when do you go to meetings? We go to meetings two times a week. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer's needs. And what time do you take breakfast? I take it at A. So this info is in the book. We started this info yesterday. Now we are still working on how to use the simple pressing information question, right? Remember, double H question go at the beginning, auxiliary to, subject, a verb, and a complement. And Example, when do you play football? Now, and that's it, right? So, but listen, just before finishing, 
It can be do or does, right? Depending on the subject. That's something that you need to keep in mind. Any question about it? No questions? Okay, so I will stop sharing. Okay, and uh, we're gonna work a little in the following information. Okay, so info that we studied yesterday, the information that we started yesterday. Okay, you're gonna be in charge of working this at the end of the class. Okay, we created like a, a conversation yesterday and we have, now yes, we have an example over here. Okay, so what do you have to do on Thursday? That's Kevin, right? What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the, the production of the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need some someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, so we're going to repeat. Okay, and then we're going to practice it. Okay, everybody, please. What do you have to do on Thursday? What do you have, what do you to, have to do, do on Thursday? Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? I just, I just check, check the production of the new product and about it. Why? Because I need some, uh, wait a minute, because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Sure. 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 What is it about? What, what is, is it about? about? What does Mr. Ray have to do that day? What does, what does, does Mr. Ray have, have to do that day? day? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? The time to finish to work on Thursday. Thursday. Or when does he have free time? Or when, or when does he have free time? time? Okay, time. now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do something, right? Eso está en la página 31. Okay, so vamos a terminar este ejercicio y de ahí les voy a decir qué es lo que vamos a hacer con la conversación. Así rapidito. Veo que ya pues ya manejamos un poquito más lo que son las double H question words. Now, ustedes me van a decir cuál de las dos es la mejor opción. Do or does. Uh, let me see. Read the conversation again. Circle the correct word. The post. The answer. The yeah. So, what do Albert have to do on Thursday? Or what does Albert have to do on Thursday? What does? Ah, okay. So the answer is that, right? Number two. Why do or does Kevin help need help? What does Kevin? Why does Kevin? What does Kevin need does... help? Who do does you think is going to help Kevin? Who do you? Who do you? Very good. Now, what do or does Mr. Riz do on Thursday? Does. Does. Very good. Does. Let me see. Yeah, that's it, right? So you see, this exercise is quite simple. And now, yes, time to practice. Ahora sí, vamos a practicar. Pero este, fíjense que no los quiero poner en pareja, así dividirlos. 
porque casi siempre, que nos, hoy últimamente nos está dando problemas que saca a alguien de, del grupo y entonces no quiero que nos suceda eso. ¿Saben qué es lo que necesito? Que um, tratemos de decir esto lo más rápido posible que podamos, o sea, de manera natural, ¿ok? De manera natural. No como metralleta, pero sí quizás como, como pistolita, a modo, de, a modo de hacerlo de manera natural. Y metralleta, de, what do you have to do on Thursday? No. What do you have to do on Thursday? Que se oiga natural. ¿Ok? ¿Cuánto tiempo vamos a dedicar a eso? Se tienen que preparar con todo, practicarlo ahorita con todo, ya sea la parte de Kevin o de Albert, porque yo voy a hacer las parejas después que pasen 10 minutos. ¿De acuerdo? Tienen 10 minutos para practicarlos. Están las 31. ¿Ok? Ok, tienen 10 tienen minutos. Recuérdense, ahorita el objetivo, pronunciación, naturalidad. Ok, decirlo de manera correcta. Ni corriendo mucho, sino que a un ritmo normal. Ok, here we go. Tienen 10 minutos. Yo me voy a ir a acostar. Sí, se pierde. No se pierde. Va a acostarse. Pues. Deben estar preparados con ambos roles porque yo voy a decir qué rol van a jugar en su momento, ¿ok?
Continue practicing the conversation. You have five minutes more. Okay, enough time. Enough time, people. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, right? So we're going to try to 
We're going to try to do our best now. Okay, two volunteers. I need two volunteers. Let me see your hands. Quiero ver esas manos levantadas. Dos voluntarios ahorita. Two volunteers. Excellent, Maria. And Aidan. Very good, Adan. Maria and Adan. Okay, Maria, you will play the role for of Kevin. And Adan, you will play the role of uh, Albert. Okay, here we go. At one, at two, and at three. Action. What do you have to do? One, two, Tuesday? I just checked the production for the new products and write a report about it. Why? Because I need some time to help me move some boxes. Can you do me that favor? Sure. What it's about? What that Mr. Ruiz? How do you do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish work on Tuesday? On when does he have free time? Okay, pretty good. Thank you. Now, look, I, I, I'm I, going to uh, underline certain expressions because I consider we need to continue practicing. Production, right, right. Yeah, yeah production, right. What is yeah. it about? And that's it, right? So far, so good. Very good. Uh, Maria, very good. Um, Aidan, two more volunteers. Two more volunteers. Very good. I have Veralis. Okay, somebody else. Veralis. Veralis and someone else. I need another participant. I need to see another participant, only Veralis. Well, and Maribel, very good, Maribel. I got it. <clears throat> okay, Vera Liz, you play the role for Kevin, and Maribel, you play the role for Albert. Okay? Okay. Yeah. What did you have to do on Thursday? Uh, give me a second, please. Checked. Give me a second, please. Give me a second. Give me one second. Let me see. Okay, Vidal. Uh, the 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 this session is being is being recorded. Okay, don't worry. Vidal, esta sesión está siendo grabada. Ya luego la puede la pueden chequear en la plataforma. No se preocupe. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt. Okay, now yes. One, a two, and a three. Action. What did you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product. Why are about why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sir, what is about? What does Mr. Ruiz have to do that day? I am not sure. What time does he finish the work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Quite good. Excellent, people. Very good. Now, remember that the pronunciation of this expression or this double H question word is why? Why? It, that's like that, right? So if you were saying this letter in the alphabet, you remember? What letter is this one? Why. Why. Okay, why? so the same. It's the same. The pronunciation is the same. Why? why? 
Okay, the other one is sure, sure. sure. Yeah, because if you say sore, then you have another word, right? But sure. say sure, sore, no, sure. And the other one, remember that it's if the verb to be is in, um. in the contractive form, let us let us practice it. There is no problem, right? So I know that you can say like I am, yeah, of course, there's no any problem, but yeah. Let us practice both ways, right? So it's important to say, I'm not, I'm not just so sure. I'm not so sure. Okay, thank you very much. And I need a third. Thank you very much. That was fantastic. I need mm -hmm. the last participants. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dos voluntarios más y terminamos con esta actividad. I have Jonathan, Jonathan and Camelia. Very good. Okay, so Jonathan, you start. Jonathan, you will play the role for Kevin and Camelia. You will play the, the role for okay. Albert. Are you ready, Camelia? Sí. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Now. Just at uh, one, at two, and at three. Action. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about why. Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Reyes have to do that, that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish the war on Thursday? Or when does we have free time? Pretty good. Now you see, practice make perfect. La práctica hace el maestro. Mientras más practiquemos, mejor. Ese sonido de production. Ok, yo sé que nos va a costar un poquito al inicio. Ok, porque se mira una U, pero no es una U. O sea, el sonido no, es, no se hace como U. Production. Eh, production, yeah, production. The other one I saw, let me say product, product. Why? Move. Some boxes, boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not sure. What time does he finish? Does he, does he finish to work on Thursday? When does he, when does he, okay. When does he have free time? When does he have, okay. It sounds very few say, when does he have free time? Eh, cuando, cuando, se, cuando hablemos, digamos, un poquito más rápido, se van a dar cuenta que, los sonidos se unen. Okay. Y en este caso, por ejemplo, con el auxiliar con das, con he, eh, regularmente en los niveles básicos decimos, what time does he finish to work on Thursday? Ok, perfecto. Si no hay problema. Ok, pero poco a poco se van a ir dando cuenta que mientras más rápido hablemos, vamos a ir como tendiendo a, a unir sonidos. Y ya luego, pues se nos va a escuchar como, hey, what time does he, does he, Ya no tanto como does he, does he, does he, okay, does she, does she, okay, it's just for you to keep it in mind, okay, but actually it was fantastic, 10 minutes, did a great job, okay, now yes, we're going to start uh, working in your homework assignment, eh, al final, cuando terminemos la siguiente actividad, ustedes se quedan trabajando, en las actividades de la 31 y la 32, que es completar ejercicios, ¿ok? Mientras yo paso la lista, como siempre. Pero ahorita nos vamos a dedicar a revisar la tarea, ¿ok? La tarea era una lectura, que nos eh, mostraran qué es lo que aprendieron de esa pequeña lectura, corta lectura, y qué preguntas generaron al respecto, ¿ok? Esa era, esa era la tarea. Eh, la tarea de mañana es un cuento. 
¿verdad? Que, nos, que nos narren un cuento, utilizando, por supuesto, en el cuento debe haber presente simple. Pinocho es un personaje que eh, está hecho de madera, que hay presente simple. ¿okay? Todos los días va al bosque eh, a trabajar con su abuelito, ¿eh? presente simple. ¿okay? Eso es lo que necesito visualizar el día de mañana. Aparte de eso, pronunciación, vocabulario que han adquirido. Ok, um, bueno, vamos a darle el espacio a cinco personas que nos compartan la tarea. Pregunto por voluntarios, volunteers. Volunteers. Excelente, Vera Liz. Es el first. Necesito cinco voluntarios, ok. Pero Alice es the first. Bueno, luego ver a Liz nos va a decir quién continúa entonces, ok. Pero sí necesito cinco participantes. Ok, ver a Liz, you, you can start. Hello. Okay, very good. Okay, it, it's time to read Tom's job. Very good. Activate your microphone, please, because we don't listen to you. Okay, okay. Tom's job. Tom works at a bank. He is the manager. He starts work every day at 8 a.m. He finishes work every day at 6 p.m. He lives very close to the bank. He walks to work every day. His brother and sister also work at the bank, but They don't live close to the bank. They drive cars to work. They start work at 9 a.m. Tom likes his job. He is very good at his job. Many people like Tom and they say hello to him when they come to the bank. Tom likes to talk to the people and make them feel happy. Okay, Vera Liz. Now, uh, which questions did you get from that uh, reading? Okay. Ahorita, ahorita. Espérame que no le hice en un solo documento. Galería. Question one. Where does sound work? The answer is Tom's work at a bank. What time does he start work? He starts work every day at 8 a.m. Where do, where do his brother and sister work? His brother and sister also work at the bank. What time does some finish work? He finishes work every day at 6 p.m. Does Tom like his job? Yes, Tom likes his job. How does Tom go to work? He works to work every day. Finish. Excellent job. Excellent job. I really like that. 
Okay, congratulations, Veronese. And, well, something that I need to check is about the live. Vamos a, vamos a ver el, el verbo que tenemos ahí en el chat. El verbo live. Ok, ¿ya lo vieron? ¿Sí, ya lo vieron? Sí. Se conjuga I live. ¿Sí, ya lo visualizaron? Sí. Yes. You, you live. He lives. She. Live. She lives. It lives. We live. And they live, right? So, siempre va a sonar la pronunciación, siempre va a ser live. La única vez cuando suena live es cuando hablamos de algún concierto o un evento en vivo. El live concert. Ok, un concierto en vivo. Solo ahí va a cambiar la pronunciación. Ya de ahí, en cualquier otra situación, siempre va a ser live. Live, live. All right? <coughs> live. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vera Liz. Now, Vera Liz, who follows? Dígame un número. <laughs> o sea, el listado de números y yo le digo un número. I, uh, okay. Tell me one number from one to ten. Nine. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maribel. Okay. Maribel, you are very lucky. Tiene suerte, Maribel. All right. Okay, Maribel. See you, Tom. Picha, nunca tengo suerte para un sorteo. Solamente para cosas así. Oh, pero es más beneficioso esto, ¿no? No sé qué pasa, teacher. No sé qué pasa, no sé. Bueno, pero a Liz le pasó la suerte. <risa> Bye. Lo siento, Maribel. <risa> Permíteme un segundo, por favor. Ok. Apenas lo hice ahora el almuerzo, así que no sé si está bien, no sé si tiene errores, porque no lo pude digitar bien. Lo hice en PDF, pero mi, la computadora en mi trabajo es diferente, así que me costó bastante. Permítame un segundo que lo envié a mi correo, entonces ahí lo voy a sacar. Yo hice un párrafo, lo saqué de un libro. Dice, I have up around eight, ay, no sé cómo se dice, ocho y media. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Every morning, and I make some coffee. I speak the morning at home, and I also lunch. Lunch. Twelve o'clock. At one o'clock. Keep um um catch the met they the metro to in the center where Star Wars at 
eh, una y media. One thirty. Perdón. One thirty. One thirty. I, I teach fine classes every day and I finish work late. After all, it's usually one one. Um, make dinner, eat dinner or a book and to beat some time I want have a drink with my friend after go uh, weekends I go working in the mountain or visit my friend or holiday usually to Italy or travel in Spain Eso fue lo que pude sacar. Okay, Maribel, that was fantastic. Now, some questions about the reading? True. Okay. Uh, where you, where, where are you live? Eh, no tenía nombre, solo le puse where I live. Eh, y según la historia, pues, él ha viajado a Italia y a España. O sea, él es español. Él ha viajado a España, a Italia. Solo eso, dicho. Ok, muy bien. It's all right, Maribel. Congrats. Very good. Real light. Sí me gustó la lectura. Eh, the, first, the first expression, Maribel, that you need to take into consideration is the one, get up. Okay. I get up. Uh -huh. Please activate your microphone and repeat, please, Maribel. I get up. I get up. Good. I also have lunch. Hello? I also had lunch. I also have lunch. Got lunch. Have, lunch. have. This is very have. Have lunch. Have lunch. Have lunch. Good. Okay. And la pregunta podría ser, where does he usually travel? ¿A dónde viaja él usualmente? And he travels to Italy, right? Where does? Okay, por ahí lo coloqué en el chat. Okay, que no se nos olvide utilizar el auxiliar, okay? Where does he usually travel? Uh, he travel to Italy. He usually travel to Italy. Excellent, Maribel. Travel, okay. Thank you, thank you, Maribel, for doing your best effort. Uh, Maribel, give me one number from one to 10. <laughs> Mm, siete. Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <laughs> Gladys, are you there? Hello, Gladys, Miss Nieto. Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. So this is the third participant, right? The the goal is to have like five participants tonight. Okay, Gladys, that's your turn. This is your time. No sé si pueden ver mi pantalla. Yeah, we can see. María's Adventure, right? Ah, sí. <laughs> it was a Saturday morning. María and her mother decided to go to the park that has just opened, so they did not know what surprise they were going to film. First day from some some flight, they stayed stayed playing for a while. At the uh, twelve o'clock, 
they uh, have lunch burgers, fries, and soda. Then they went to some spring that were near a spring. It was uh, three o'clock. They decided to go to the, their house that was in the city. And the last question, what they did, what they did Maria and her mom go out? They left on Saturday. Where did they go first? They went to the sliders. What did Maria and her mom have for lunch? They have hamburgers, fries, and soda for lunch. And where else did did they go to play? They went to some swing. Finish. Okay, very good. Okay, that was really nice. But okay, everybody. Now one question. Now, please leave the leave, leave the, the the presentation. Okay. Gladys, please. I, I need to make some, some observations. Yeah, the observation of a good, right? Wow. Uh, give me one second. Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> as you can see, como pueden ver, la lectura está super bien. También las preguntas están muy bien elaboradas. Todo está perfecto. Solo hay algo que debemos de notar. ¿Quién se fijó, por ejemplo, que no teníamos ni el auxiliar did ni el auxiliar das? ¿Alguien, ¿Alguien lo notó? Ok, ¿por qué tenemos did acá? Porque la lectura está en pasado. Ok, ya luego vamos a ver pasado simple y nos vamos a dar cuenta que el auxiliar es did. Ahora, si yo quisiese cambiar estas preguntas por presente simple, ¿cómo lo hiciéramos? Ahí ya están en pasado. Está súper, está me encanta porque podemos hacer el ejercicio de presente simple ahorita. Ya, digamos, ahorita no queremos la pregunta en pasado, la queremos hacer en presente simple. ¿Cómo iría? What does María Germán go out? Excelente. What they da. A veces das. Pero tenemos dos personas, María y Germán. What do, perdón. Ok. What they do, María y Germán. Go out. Excelente. Excelente. Now, number two. Where, where do they first? Where do they go first? Number three. What do Marie and her mom have for lunch? Perfect. And the last one. Where else do they go to play? Do they go to play? Excellent. Very good, people. I can see. Wow, you made me happy. Me hace feliz porque me dicen que pues. Hemos hecho un buen trabajo como equipo. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, Gladys, give me one number from one to ten once again. Three. Is it three, one? Yeah. <laughs> one, two. Okay. Camelia. Okay, Camelia, is your opportunity. Camelia, you, Camelia, you there? Eh, solo ver la pantalla, sí, ¿verdad? Ah, yes, yes, no, yes. Mm -hmm. Read about Sharon the chef. This is Sharon. She's a chef. She's short and pretty. She works in a restaurant. She cooks for people. Every day, she grabs grab at 7 o'clock in the morning. She takes a shower and put on her clothes. She doesn't eat breakfast. She drinks 
coffee with milk. At age of, uh, age of love, she drives to the market. On the market, she buys lots of food. She bought fruit, vegetables, and meat. Mm -hmm. Then she goes to the restaurant. She cook, look, she cook lunch from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Then she takes a break. A break. break, break. At 5 o'clock, she starts to cook dinner. She cooks pasta, pizza, and stick for the loss of people. She finishes work at 9 o'clock. She's very fired. She drives home and take a shower, she plays computer games for an hour, and then she goes to bed. Okay, okay. Las cinco preguntas serían, what's her name? Her name is Hacharon. Where does she work? She works in the restaurant. Does she have breakfast in the morning? No, she doesn't had breakfast, she drinks coffee with milk. What time does she have a break? She takes a break at three o'clock. Does she boil pizza? No, she doesn't boil pizza. Fantastic. Do you have some more? Es todo. That's it. Okay, Camelia. Camelia, can you share the presentation, please? Ahorita. Okay, and let's see something out there. That's going to be very meaningful for everybody. You will see. Okay, now let us let us see what what do we have there, especially the the part about the questions, please, Camelia. Thank you. Listo. Now, what's her name? ¿Cuál es el nombre de ella? Okay, her name is Sharon. Okay, let us delete the A over there, please. Hola. Borrémosle la A, por favor, ahí donde dice her name is. Um, ok. Recuérdense que A or an lo vamos a ocupar para contar, para decir, this is a teacher, este es un profesor. Uh, this is an apple, esta es una, una manzana, ok. Uh, her name is Sharon, very good. Now, where does she works? Ahora, en la segunda hay una regla. ¿Quién me dicen cuál es la regla? Para, 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 para ver si la, si la pregunta tiene algún, algún detalle. El verbo va sin S al final. Ah, ok. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Porque es pregunta y se usa en, el, en forma base. Porque es pregunta y se usa en forma base. Ok. Además... El auxiliar nos dice, el auxiliar das, nos indica no que cierto, el verbo verdad. debe ir siempre en forma base. Ahora, la respuesta está súper. She works in a restaurant. Does she have breakfast in the morning? No, she doesn't have breakfast. No, she doesn't have breakfast. No, she doesn't. Aquí podemos poner, no, she doesn't, punto. Y de ahí, she doesn't have breakfast. She drinks coffee with milk. Okay, with, solo el spelling está, hay que cambiarlo, la iba antes de la H. Eso es lo único. <laughs> what time does she have break? She takes a break at three o'clock. Does she buy pizza? No, she doesn't buy pizza. All right. So that was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, ya ven como el trabajo de, de todos nos ayuda nos ayudan a todos ok eso me encanta de trabajar en equipo ok me encanta mucho eso um, let's see well you know what we're gonna stop over here with this activity vamos a detenernos acá con esta actividad vamos a trabajar en el pdf mientras yo paso el listado de acuerdo ok Ok, voy a pasar la asistencia. Voy a, a mencionarlos. Ayúdenme. Y los demás trabajan en su PDF. 
Uh, vamos, le voy a pedir a dos o tres personas que nos compartan lo que han hecho en el PDF, ¿ok? <coughs> ok, Adam. Present teacher. Alison. Andrea Raquel. Present. Camelia. Present. Dina Maribel. Um, present teacher. Gerardo Emanuel. Gilberto Antonio. Present. Gladys Rubiria. Present teacher. Héctor Salvador. Héctor. I saw Héctor. What's going, what's going on with Héctor? Okay, here are these persons. I remember I saw Héctor. Héctor, are you here? Yeah, Hector is over here. Maybe he's a, as a listener tonight. He's as a listener. But Hector is over here. Henry? <clears throat> Present teacher. Sarlene? Present. <clears throat> Jonathan Josue? Present teacher. Mayra Norabel. Present. María Elba. Present. Maricela, I know Maricela is over here. Miguel Ángel. Eh, Norma Xiomara. Oscar Josué. Present teacher. I can see Norma is over here. Uh, Ronan. Present teacher. Salvador Santiago. Vera Liz. Present teacher. Okay, Vidal. Present teacher. And Claudia. Present teacher. Excellent, Claudia. Okay. We still have a lot of time, right? So we have like 15 minutes. Hey, I want to congratulate you for your attendance. Lo quiero felicitar. Este grupo es super genial. Y siempre se conectan a la clase. Okay. La asistencia saben que es de suma importancia. Okay, Norma says, okay, Norma. Okay, okay, Norma. I got it. Okay, Norma, I got it. I got your message, okay? Don't worry because, let me see, Norma. Yeah, Norma, don't worry. I already checked your assistance. Okay. <clears throat> okay, normal. Now let me see. Uh, I, I will check like only two two PDF uh, books. Solo quiero chequear un par de libros allí en PDF. Quiero ver cómo lo están trabajando. <clears throat> okay, o no sé si lo han pasado a Word o si. Si lo están trabajando en PDF siempre, pero necesito ver avances en el, en el PDF también. Let me see. Um, ok, Jonathan, I need to see the PDF. Oscar, I need to see your PDF. Jonathan and Oscar, please.
Hold up. Jonathan, can you please share your PDF book? Eh, el libro lo tengo impreso, pero creo que lo dejé en el trabajo. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Trabajando como en los ratos empiezo a trabajar. ¿no? Ah, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, I remember you you asked about it, right? Okay. Okay, uh, tomorrow. okay so tomorrow we will see your advancement. Okay. And Oscar, can you please share your your advancement in the PDF book? Yo también lo tengo impreso, teacher. Ah, okay, you have it. Okay. Now let us do something. Let us work on, on that. Vamos a ocupar estos 10 minutos, ok, um, para platicar acerca de, del día de mañana. Ok, el día de mañana tienen ese challenge, ok, de hablar durante tres minutos. Ok, um, si ustedes gustan, pues si necesitan estos 10 minutos, yo se los concedo o podemos este, hacer alguna práctica. Si alguien quiere practicar, pues lo podemos hacer ahorita. ¿En qué me voy a enfocar el día de mañana? Bueno, estoy pensando en observar si, este, si, si, si su presentación va a ser eh, 100% lectura. ¿ok? Eso va a depender de ustedes, pero... Yo más bien le sugeriría que lo hagan sin la necesidad de leer. Igual, si leen, yo puedo, yo puedo evaluar que han estado estudiando pronunciación, que han hecho en, efectivamente la tarea, que, eh, um, que han quizás creado algún par de preguntas o algo eh, por el estilo y que pues nos lo quieran compartir. Si ustedes lo hacen sin la necesidad de leer, pues creo que va a ser mucho más beneficioso. Porque las palabras, quiera ser o no, um, cuando las memorizamos, nos familiarizamos más con ellas. <ríe> Algunas veces lo hacemos y, y lastimosamente memorizamos como para salir del momentito. O sea, yo me aprendo algo y ya salí de la clase, ok, ya. Eso se llama memorización a corto plazo, pero hay otro tipo de memorización en donde podemos este, aprender palabras eh, a través y usarlas a través del tiempo, ok. Ambas son, son beneficiosas en realidad, porque quiere ser o no, siempre nos familiarizamos con vocabulario. Eh, Así que, pues, para mí tienen ambas oportunidades. Más sin embargo, lo que yo más quisiera es que lo hicieran sin necesidad de leer. No sé si hay preguntas, algún comentario o algo que quieran aportar a la clase. ¿Cómo estuvo la sesión de ahora? Las personas que no han terminado eh, su, sus actividades en la plataforma, les pido por favor que lo hagan lo más pronto posible. Ya mañana es el último día de la tercera semana y es necesario re registrar sus avances. Teacher, cinco minutos. Eh, yo como ingresé tarde, yo voy atrasada. Estoy tratando la manera de y ponerme al día solo que yo ahorita no he hecho el libro que usted está diciendo todavía no lo he comenzado pienso hacerlo al fin de semana que voy a tener más tiempo y voy estoy tratando de manera de siempre ir al día pero lo de la plataforma me estoy esforzando porque igual entre tarde sin embargo eh, todavía no tengo muy claro cuál es el libro que usted quiere que yo saque porque también eso necesito sacarlo pero no estoy muy segura cuál es el libro que hay que trabajar entonces si me puede mandar ahí a dónde lo voy a descargar y todo eso yo con todo gusto el fin de semana yo lo voy a hacer y me voy a poner al día 
Ok, la opción que tienen, algunos me, me, me preguntaron al inicio si lo podían eh, tener en físico y por supuesto no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Pero es eh, la guía, pues yo le, le he puesto un libro de no, pero en realidad es la guía del curso que la podemos encontrar en, en la plataforma, es descargable. Yo creo que también se las compartieron en el, al momento que les que les um, que les facilitaron la información en el en su en su email en su correo electrónico pero igual es este mira yo creo que también lo compartí en el grupo A Alison ya lo compartió gracias Alison muy amable ahí está en el chat ok lo pueden trabajar de manera digital y lo pueden trabajar de manera física, como a ustedes mejor les parezca. Y es el, el PDF que usualmente trabajamos en clase. Que es este. Todos estos ejercicios. ¿Ok? De ahorita pues avanzamos hasta la página 31. Ok. Y pues hasta ahí tenemos que haber trabajado a la fecha. Um, no sé si, si hay preguntas para la actividad de mañana. Entonces Mar mañana, ¿qué vamos a hacer, teacher? Mañana nos van a contar un cuento. Eso es, eso es lo principal, ¿verdad? Un cuento que dure alrededor de tres minutos. Ustedes eligen el cuento, lo buscan en internet, lo practican y nos lo cuentan. Ok. Porque eso un es comentario, todo. teacher. Dígame, yo a veces, a, como yo vivo en una zona volcánica, hay un momento donde hay interferencia. Entonces, cuando yo enciendo la cámara, a mí me, sa me saca del... De la, del área, de entonces me saca del, de a donde estoy en la clase entonces yo hay un momento que yo apago la cámara más ahorita está lloviendo, entonces ahorita he apagado la cámara por eso porque ya probé un día de esto como cinco veces, intenté y ya no me dejó ingresar por, por la área, ¿verdad? donde yo estoy y de repente se cae el internet entonces yo estoy tratando la manera de en los momentos para que ustedes vean que yo estoy aquí <ríe> Yo enciendo la cámara, pero cuando yo veo que estoy teniendo falla, entonces yo la apago por, por eso mismo. No es que yo no esté pendiente, sino que estoy escuchando o a veces yo estoy viniendo tarde. Ahorita estoy viniendo tarde porque tengo bastantes actividades ahorita en mi trabajo y estoy en un oyente. Puede ser de que van a escuchar bulla y todo eso por el área donde yo estoy. Pero igual, ¿verdad? Estoy tratando la manera de siempre conectarme en punto para poder escuchar lo que usted está hablando. Y tener sentido de lo que usted me está diciendo. Porque hay momentos que ya he entrado tarde y no le entiendo nada. Okay, no se preocupe, Maribel. La verdad que, pues, nosotros somos conscientes, ¿verdad? De que yo siempre se los, se los he dicho, ustedes son personas admirables. Porque después de una jornada laboral, pues, decidieron tomar este curso. Que, que no es ni a horas tempranas, sino que va de 8 a 10. O sea, después de su jornada laboral, llegan cansaditos, eh, pues quizás comen a la, me imagino, comen, cenan a la carrera. Eh, ya, pues yo les digo que se, se preparen un, su cafecito, que si pueden que tomen un baño, un baño, pues yo me imagino que si ustedes hacen eso, pues les toca que correr mucho. ¿verdad? Y nosotros entendemos, y por eso al inicio yo paso un listado, ¿ok? Y al final paso eh, eh, la asistencia nuevamente. Porque sé, sabemos que hay participantes que se les hace imposible entrar justo a las ocho. ¿okay? Eh, seríamos injustos si nosotros solo pasásemos la lista al inicio de la clase y pues esa es la que vale. No, la verdad que no. En realidad, pues hay un, hay un, un sistema, el programa en sí registra cada segundito que ustedes están en la clase. Aunque yo pusiese, digamos, en mi registro que fulano de tal no asistió, ahí el mismo sistema me corrige a mí. Y este, si yo puse, digamos, que alguien no asistió ahí, me dice, la persona estuvo 70 minutos. 
o la persona estuvo 80 minutos. Ah, quiere decir que yo al final, este, no, cuando yo pasé lista no lo escuché y a lo mejor yo pues cometí un error, pero el mismo sistema, o sea, ustedes no pierden ni un minuto de asistencia, es lo que les quiero decir. Uh, con respecto a, a que si entran, pues digamos un poquito tarde, pues ya les cuesta un poquito engranar en la, en la, en la clase, sí, pues eso es, es, este, es parte del proceso, porque este, a, a iniciamos con algo y ya pues agarrar el hilo, como decimos, pues se nos hace un poquito difícil, pero más sin embargo creo que están haciendo un excelente trabajo. O sea, para, yo lo he visto, yo lo percibo, yo veo avances en pronunciación, hemos estado repitiendo lo de la información del presente simple, yo veo que ya en un 90% del tiempo, ya ustedes ya se grabó en su mentecita que tercera persona, hay que hacer énfasis en, en los cambios que, que el verbo necesita, etcétera, pero pronunciación, entonación, y pues ya cuando se muevan al siguiente nivel, pues el, el teacher en su momento pues va a empezar a valorar y va a decir, porque uno empieza como a sopesar, ¿verdad?, las los avances de los, de los estudiantes. Y uno dice, mmm, este grupo, como que le puedo jalar un poquito más, a que dé un poquito más de, 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 que ponga un poquito más de empeño o que avancemos un poquito más rápido. O sea, uno está valorando los avances de cada persona, no solo, no solo de que alguien va aprendiendo muy rápido o alguien va aprendiendo, pues, no tan rápido. O sea, nosotros valoramos todo y tratamos de balancear los ritmos, ¿ok? Uh, por eso que algunas veces algunos quizás sienten que va muy rápido la cosa y de repente como que quizás el teacher hoy va como más lento ¿verdad? o como, se, como que se está entreteniendo un poquito más en ciertos aspectos. Y es por eso, porque si bien yo noto que algunos ya lo, ya lo manejan bien, ya, ya este, automáticamente están este, manejando la gramática, pero todavía, pues, a lo mejor veo que alguno lo neces necesita hacer un, o tener un feedback o hacer más ejercicios o tener un repaso. Entonces, vengo y regreso, regreso, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Nos beneficia a todos? Sí, nos beneficia porque el que ya lo comprendió termina de convirtiéndose como, hey, wow, esto ya está fácil para mí. Y al que todavía le cuesta, pues, entonces dice, bueno, o ya lo entiendo mejor, lo voy a aplicar este, en todo momento. O sea, ese es el, el, el propósito. De acuerdo, eh, no sé si hay otra participación. Si no, pues yo sé que tienen mucho trabajo que hacer. Y nos vemos el día de mañana. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.